The 2023 housing market crash just got worse. And today we're going to get right into it because inflation is on the uptick. And the inflation gauge in February increased by 0.4%, which is up 6% from last year. And the probability that the Fed would raise benchmark interest rates a quarter point increased following the report. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. My name is Chris Igo. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate your participation in our journey. And Jerome Powell, who's on the record, is stating that he is going to be hawkish and he is going to stamp out inflation. He's got to be aware that the system is breaking. And if the banking system breaks, no bueno for the housing market. No bueno for the economy, no bueno for the country, no bueno for anybody anywhere. And if you've been watching for a while, you know that I've talked a lot about the fact that homeowners in Florida feel equity rich. They feel secure. They feel safe. There is no pain of recession. In fact, there is no recession in Palm Beach County. And as a boots on the ground operator of a high performance real estate team, I often work with clients just like you who found me on YouTube and hired me to find their dream home and dream lifestyle. And because I've done such a good job of describing what the housing market could be like in the future, a lot of folks think that the Florida housing market is different than it is. And a lot of folks out there who are looking at properties immediately think there's a 30 to 40% discount from list price because the housing market's crashed and interest rates have exploded and we're in a recession, despite the fact that there are people out there who don't believe we're in one. And while I'm all for negotiating the best deals, and we've negotiated the best deals in the last few months than we have in years, which makes my job so much more fun because I love to go out there and negotiate the best deals for my clients. But I haven't been able to do that in a long time. Not because I'm not good at it, because the market wouldn't allow it. And the market has changed, which doesn't mean that the opening bid should be 50% off unless the hyper local market dictates that, which is why it's critical that you work with a professional that understands the hyper local market in order to negotiate and advocate for you the right way. And despite the fact that mortgage interest rates are soaring, and yes, I know that we've had a little bit of relief here recently since the SVB crisis, but the trend is not our friend. And I suspect mortgage interest rates are going to go considerably higher, especially if Jerome Powell raises the benchmark interest rate in the near future. But one of the questions that I have to ask myself about his tightening policy is, has he given it enough time? Because the unintended consequence of this rapid tightening is the current banking crisis. But I suspect as we get more housing data and we arrive at May 10th, I suspect that the housing data will start to cooperate with inflation. Because housing data takes longer. It takes time for housing data to catch up with inflation. And when it does, I suspect it's going to bring down inflation faster which will likely bring down mortgage interest rates. Now, having been a stockbroker for damn near 20 years, I know that analysts are wrong all the time. And I also remember Jim Cramer's famous prediction that Bear Stearns is fine and is a great investment right before it went insolvent, right before it failed. And so I needed to share this video because he did the exact same thing with SVB. Beats yield silica value bank recently bought one of our favorite research firms boffett nathans and it's become less dependent upon private equity and venture capitalist offerings wait a second those dried up last year they could come back yes yeah, some of them come back here with a stock directly affects an oversold position stock was the fourth worst performer in 2022 i think the fears were not justified and it's a very compelling situation and by the way long-term private equity and venture capital they're not going away being the banker to these invest immense pools of capital has always been a very good business Stock's still cheap. And then he talks about Signature Bank, which has also failed because these banks are not capitalized the right way. And we're going to find out there are a lot of banks that are not capitalized the right way. And banks not being capitalized the right way is no bueno for the housing market or any other market out there. 
And when people don't trust the banking system, they pull their money. And forced redemptions destroy banks just like forced sales or distressed sales destroy home values. And as of today, at least in the South Florida market, there is none of that yet. Let's start with Signature Bank. This is a New York-based commercial bank, but it's got uh, 36 private client offices sprinkled across the New York metro area, California, and North Carolina. The thing about Signature is that it's a business-oriented bank, and to the extent that they have a consumer business, it's focused on the wealthy, namely business owners and senior executives who do a lot of business, and you can make a lot of money working with them. Insert shoe in mouth, Jim, because you got it dead wrong. And you might be asking, what does this have to do with the housing market? Because although it doesn't tie in directly, I think we have to address the elephant in the room, which is this latest bailout, which I think is a complete disaster. And Joe Biden just went on the record and stated that the SVB failure is how capitalism works. And that's not true because they got bailed out by the Treasury. They got bailed out by the FDIC. And although they say that taxpayers aren't on the hook for this bailout, well, that might be true today, but it's certainly not going to be true in the future. And the terrifying thing is that I didn't know up until yesterday is that the FDIC does not have the money to insure its deposit holders. The FDIC has $128 billion in cash to cover the deposits of over $3 trillion. $3 trillion of deposits are at risk. Only 1.27% of the deposit base is actually insured. And if there's a run on the bank and the banking system loses its deposit base, well, then every market just got a lot worse. But here's the good news. Cash seeks its highest value. It will be redeployed into the safest investment vehicle, which provides the most upside. And I suspect it will find its home into the housing market. I suspect it will find its new home in South Florida. Yet to be determined, I don't know. But I do know that short term, there's going to be a lot of pain. And long term, the future looks bright. If you're new to the area and want to learn more about what it's like to live in South Florida, then please opt in for our free city and relocation guide. It's going to tell you everything that you could ever want to know about what it's like to live in South Florida. And if I can ever be of service, then please reach out directly. And if you've got any comments, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you right away. Now, I hope you found this content valuable, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and check out my next video because I suspect you will love it a lot. And until next time, peace.